He is America's sassiest lifestyle guru, and he is a close friend of the Tony Rose Morning Show, the one and only Steve Kimball. How are you doing? I am doing fabulous, and I love the Tony Rose Morning Show. It's the best in the country. That is what I like to hear. Thank you so much for coming back on. We love you to death. It has been too long since you have been on the air with us. I need to be on here every day. Hey, you know what? Our ratings would go through the roof. We need it. We do need it so much. How are you doing? How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. Things are absolutely fantastic. Fabulous. The summer is just going along so quickly. It's almost gone because I've been working on those two shows yes. in L.A. all summer. And it's like I got back to Dallas for a day or two, and I was like, the summer is gone. What has been the highlight of your summer so far? It's been incredible. I actually spent two weeks in Montreal, Canada, which wow. I loved. <laughs> now, where are, you? are you in Dallas today? I'm actually in Dallas today, and I head out to Portland, Oregon on Saturday. Now, now, what is the weather like in Dallas? Is it what's is it is it hot, hot, hot? Yes, it's hot. And today we're actually going to reach the 100 mark for the first time. Wow, we're hitting 102 today in Kentucky. With oh, a, wow! Uh, I have to tell you, Monday, this past Monday, I was out at Texas Stadium all day because the American Idol yes. auditions came <laughs> through Dallas. What was that like? Oh, it was unbelievable. I did um, Fox does, of course, American Idol, and I did fashion commentary for them on the contestants. (laughs) And there were 12,500 contestants, and they only selected 400. Wow. So that means 12,100 people left a little bit disappointed. But, I mean, can you believe that many people show up, and they come, and like all of my favorite costumes were, (laughs) this one woman completely painted her body green. Oh, my goodness. And she put on a witch outfit, and she goes... Now, I only sing songs from Wicked. <laughs> well, oh. that's going to get you really far. <laughs> and then another guy had his hair done up like wild. I mean, it was like nuts. And he held this big sign. His name was Dan. And he had held this big sign. He said, my name is Dan Jaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was man. one guy dressed as a California raisin. I mean, it's like these people are like, and I'm sure they'll all end up on television. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That show is just phenomenal. But... Speaking of Texas Stadium, I'm yeah. excited because tonight I'm going to the first Cowboys game. That's right. You're going to be there tonight. The Cowboys and the Colts play, right? Yes. Isn't that incredible? Man, that is, so you've never been to a Cowboys game before? No, my first one this season. Really? Yeah, I'm, this is the first one this season. Well, Are you kidding? I go to all the Cowboy games. I love them. I do parties for the okay, Cowboys. I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, I love them. Now, who do you, which of the Dallas Cowboys do you think has the best fashion taste that you have gotten to meet? Probably Tony Roma. Really? Yeah, he actually knows how to put it together for his body type and for his personality, and he always looks really, really good. Now, T.O. would think that he has the best fashion sense, (laughs) and I don't know if we want to tell him otherwise, because we don't want to get him upset before the season starts. So you're saying that, so so I guess is it still one of those things where it's sweeping the state of Texas and Dallas, there's a lot of flaming Romosexuals out there, right? (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. I love it. And we are going to be so interested to see if Carrie shows up. Yes. Carrie Underwood. Yes, that's right, because they're an item, right? Oh, well, that's what they say. She comes into Dallas a lot. Of course, the big, you know, banter around Dallas is we changed her name to Carrie Under Romo. Oh, (laughs) I love it. I love love it. it. She is a great girl, a great girl. Wow. And they make such a cute couple. I love her. Man. All right, real quick, let's get into it. The We Network, uh, Married by the In-Laws and Platinum Weddings. You've got a couple of shows coming up. One of them, actually, this Sunday. The next one, next Monday, the 20th. Real quick, tell us about these shows, because I, when, you, when I think of, of getting married in a, in a unique and a special way, I think, I think of Steve Kimball, and these, both of these shows sound like that. Tell us first about Married oh, by the In-Laws. Yeah, they're absolutely great shows, both on We, Women's Entertainment, yes. Married by the In-Laws is such a cute show. I host this show, and this couple has to entrust the details, all the details, those are the rules, all (laughs) the details of their wedding to their in-laws. Oh, my goodness. I know. So that scares a lot of people. Both. So I work with both sets of parents to plan this wedding, and it is just absolutely hysterical. Because, again, the kids have no say in it whatsoever. The end result is the the parents do a fabulous job. You'll see how happy the kids are, or if they're not happy with all of their choices. But, I mean, their choices include cakes, bridal gown, (laughs) groom's outfit, reception venue, everything. It is just such a fantastic show. We filmed it in L.A. Right. The uh, groom is from Beverly Hills. 
the bride is from Las Vegas, oh so you've goodness. got that mix of parents working together. But it, it's just it's just the cutest show. It's absolutely, <laughs> it's on this Sunday at uh, nine o'clock Central Time. Married by the In Laws. This is the pilot. Right. We're, we're thankful that they're airing the pilot. That's a good sign. And let's yes. keep our fingers crossed that let's it goes it. to series. I can't wait. You need to be on TV every single day in some form or fashion. I know. I the love it. The world will be a better place. We love Steve Kimball so, so much. And, of course, Platinum Weddings as well. Tell us about that real quick. Platinum Weddings is a wedding that I did in Nashville, and it's absolutely Ooh. gorgeous. This show is about beautiful, gorgeous weddings. No drama. This was a wedding for Jimmy Ray Robinson, who used to play for the Buffalo Bills, right. and his bride, Amanda Dermott. Right. Gorgeous girl. Right. We did this wedding on the stage of the Grand Old Opera in oh. Nashville, Tennessee. It is unbelievable. <laughs> we had a 60-person gospel choir. It was just absolutely fabulous. And then we did the wedding reception a seated dinner for 450 people at the Lowe's Vanderbilt Hotel. My goodness. And it is, just wait till you see what we did with the chandelier in the ballroom. We actually lowered the chandelier in the ballroom, filled it completely full of blue, white, and green hydrangea. It was beautiful. Wow. The only other time that that chandelier has been lowered in that ballroom was when Natalie Cole got married in the ballroom. Right. Very and cool. And that was quite a feat. We had a gorgeous $15,000 wedding cake. <laughs> From Sylvia Weinstock in New York. She is one of the premier cake makers in the world, and she shipped the cake in from New York, a $15,000 cake, and it wow. was so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Married by the In-Laws this Sunday night on the uh, We Network, Women's Entertainment, and then Platinum Weddings next Monday, August the 20th, as well on, uh, on We, on the Women's Entertainment Network there. Oh, Steve Kimball, we love you so much here oh, in Bowling thank Green. thank you so much for having me on. I can say I want to come on this show every day. How can folks find out more? you got a website, right? Got a website, www.stevekimball.com. We love you so much, and uh, we can't wait to get you back on again and see you on TV this Sunday night on We. Have a fabulous time tonight at the Dallas Cowboys game. Thank you, Tony, and everybody have a fabulous day.